Hey guys, welcome back to the Weekly Ticket Webcast. I'm Dave Paulson. Joining me this week is Jay Powell. We are hoping that uh, the, the dreary weather we have today will clear up tomorrow because it is fair season. Um, kicking off tomorrow, the Williamson County Fair, and, and Jay has written a big piece about that fair and fairs heading your way uh, in the near future. Jay, um, favorite fair ride, go. Well, I don't know if it would be necessarily my favorite fair ride, but I know this year at the Williamson County Fair, they're going to be having a Ferris wheel that mm -hmm. was, you, like the theme this year is rock around the fair. So it's going to focus on like Motown music, old oldies rock and roll and bluegrass. And one of the things they have this year is they're bringing in a few Elvis impersonators. They were a big hit last year, apparently. And also, they're going to bring in a Ferris wheel that was also used in an Elvis movie. Mm. I'm not sure which one exactly. I wasn't told, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, least, well, hopefully yeah. They, they've, they've kept <laughs> that, that Ferris wheel maintained. It's been a while since the king was with us, so hopefully. Um, I mean, I've seen much worse uh, fair rides that are probably much younger than that Ferris wheel, honestly. Yeah, and also, there's going to be a, a new roller coaster. I think it's called Yappy the the caterpillar for I saw kids. that it was it's, it's going to be a new ride this year and that's supposed to be pretty cool that's and cool maybe if you you know slip the carney a couple bucks you can you can get on that <laughs> so the big kids can ride that around <laughs> yeah. that'd be fun yeah. um yes yeah, so so, so the, I'm detecting kind of a 50s theme here yeah I mean there's uh, Chick-fil-a has provided um money and just resources to make poodle skirts for people to wear around mm -hmm the fair there's going to be a saturday night sock hop dance for the first time featuring a local nashville band that's been around since the 60s oh. called exit the, um what's the name i had it written down here the exotics the exotics yes featuring exotics. loy hardcastle and friends yeah they, they're they're a local legendary band cover band that oh, cool. has been around since the 60s wow and um they're going to be performing saturday night for the sock hop mm -hmm. um who else is going to be there uh Senator Jack Johnson's band mm. is going to be playing um, on the 8th. I bet it's interesting to have a band and have your name be Jack Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the Austin <laughs> Brothers, that's the name of the group. Gotcha. Um, uh, there's going to be an ultimate Elvis tribute artist, like I said. And there's going to be uh, Beatles-themed groups there. There's going to be a live birthing of a pig. That's usually there every year. Wow. That's, that's something that... So they, they time that it's out. pretty unique. Yeah. yeah. Uh, senior day on August 4th, uh, there's, well, throughout the week there's going to be several different ways you can get in mm -hmm. with the discounted price. Gotcha. And uh, on August 4th is senior day. Um, so seniors 55 or older can get in for free. Uh, you can pick up discount tickets at like daily stores, at uh, I think Tractor Supply. Mm -hmm. And uh, students get discounts too, I think. That's, That's awesome. another thing. Uh, one thing that uh, the people I interviewed stressed was that they try to make it as affordable for families to go to more than any other fair. There's free parking. Mm -hmm. It's in an air-conditioned building. They've added misting fans throughout the midway and everything this year, so it's even more comfortable when yeah. you're out there in case the weather's bad. There's fireworks every night. So it sounds like it's going to be a pretty cool fair. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. very hospitable. From August 2nd to 10th, uh, uh, myself and some friends got some uh, a discount, actually, on a, a I'll, I'll say an unnamed uh, coupon <coughs> website, um, and looking forward to this very much uh, next weekend. But uh, I had yet to really look into what I was in for this year, and it sounds like a lot of uh, very unique things. On top of a few of my, you know, uh, carnival standbys, fair standbys. Uh, I like the zipper, which is like a, a Ferris wheel, but each each seat kind of is in a cage that spins around itself. Oh, yes. That, that never <laughs> seems quite safe, but I get in it every year, every time I go. Total World is a good standby. And then uh, typically it's called the Gravitron, you know, where it's the spaceship thing that spins around. You get kind of nauseous and get uh, stuck to the side of the wall. You ever rode that? Oh, yes. That's a good one. That's a good <laughs> one for sure. If you're not into um, getting thrown around this weekend or, or enjoying anything else that the, that the fair has to offer, there are a few concerts you could be checking out, uh, both on Saturday that I uh, highlighted in this uh, Friday's ticket section, the first Old Crow Medicine Show, a Nashville Roots band, um, I guess best known to, to a, a broad audience for, for writing the song uh, Wagon Wheel, which has gone on to become pretty much a, a, an underground standard and now a country hit uh, by Darius Rucker, actually uh, based off an old Bob Dylan demo that, that the band then um, completed and it, it's taken on a life of its own. So they're at uh, Woods Amphitheater at Fontanelle on Saturday night. And then also on Saturday down at Bicentennial Mall, 
we've got a new festival called the I Am Festival, which combines uh, tons of bands, Mute Math, uh, The Wigs, Flowbots, Nappy Roots, and some locals as well, uh, Space Capone, Modoc, uh, Chancellor Warhol, who will be performing like all day from noon to 10 or something, like very, very long. Um, and while that's going on in the center, you have a track where throughout the day there are 5K fun runs and uh, bike races on, on this looping course around the music. Uh, the racers get into the concert for free, but if you're not into running around or, or doing much uh, strenuous f- physical activity on, on Saturday, you can also buy a ticket just for the music and to watch the runners, I guess, uh, for 35 bucks. Um, so you can find out information on both of those shows and the fairs. Uh, tons of other fairs uh, coming up, including uh, Wilson and Dixon County Fairs. Much more you can see a breakdown of all those fairs and especially what the Williamson County Fair has to offer uh, in the coming week. In tomorrow's ticket section, I believe you're seeing a, a nice cover image of it right now. So uh, be sure to pick that up on Friday. And thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.